Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for July 22nd through July 28th. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is just a message from my guides for you, okay? So let's just see what comes up. This may or not be may or may not be for you because it's a message from my guides. It's, it's not going to resonate with every single person. Let's start right here. What do we have for Sagittarius? July 22nd through the 28th. What can we expect? Or what can they expect? What can Sagittarius expect? What messages do you have for them? From us. Ooh, rest and rejuvenation. So it's time to take a break. Right? It's time to go within to harness your power. Right? You may be needing a timeout. You may be needing a timeout. Maybe, you know, it's time to heal. Maybe it's time to heal yourself. Maybe you're working on healing. Maybe it's a time of meditation. It's time to rejuvenate your soul. Right? Walking away. Perhaps, you know, you have to just walk away from something. You have to leave something behind. Maybe that's what you're doing. Maybe you're going through that door and you're, you're, you're leaving something behind. I mean, that kind of looks, that kind of, that's what it looks like to me. So, let's see what else we got here. Now, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. You should be watching this on my channel on YouTube, Soul Source Tarot. I do not authorize anybody to re-download this video as their own and, you know, make money off of it. Nope, I don't authorize that. This is Soul Source Tarot YouTube channel. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So it's safe. It's safe. Maybe you need to heal so that you can believe that. All right. It is safe for you to love. It's safe for you to open your heart. What else do we have for Sagittarius? Sagittarius. What do we got for Sagittarius? Ooh, distant thunder. Clear the air. So there's something going on here that you need to release. There is. Could be fears because, you know, that's, it's safe for you to love. So we're going to go ahead and zoom that in. I'm going to read that card. Distant thunder. Clear the air. Dramatic purification, renewal, and healing are occurring on many levels. Don't be concerned if there is chaos in your life. In this instance, it is good. It is shaking things up so you don't become stagnant. If your auric field or your personal space is cluttered, it's difficult for exciting new experiences and opportunities to come into your life. It's time to clear out clutter, release the old, discarded, and unused. Clear the air and release situations and people. <sighs> I lost it. And release situations and people who don't empower you. Purify the dross out of your life. In order for renewal to occur, the old needs to make way for the new. On the distant horizon, a storm is brewing. A storm is brewing. Great shards of lightning are thunderbolting to the earth from the heavens. It can feel chaotic. But it heralds a time of renewal. The st thunderstorm clears the dust out of the air and re-energizes the earth. Be open to change. It's all good even if it doesn't seem like it. 
New energy is flooding your, your energy field. Examine your life, and if there is something or anything that needs to be cleared, renewed, or released, now is the time. Renewal and even rebirth is at hand. So you guys are being called to walk away from something because something better, something beautiful, a rebirth is coming to you. But to have that rebirth, you must have to release something. So what do we have for Sagittarius? What do we got for Sagittarius, dear God? Angels, spirits, and universe. <laughs> Oh, well, it doesn't get, I mean, come on now. This is a, a partnership. This is a union. This is very compatible. This is love. This is something emotionally fulfilling. So you could be getting an offer of love or a, a, some sort of emotional support, an emotional partnership that is emotionally fulfilling. Okay. Um, this is happiness. So this is happiness. So that's what we got we have a partnership coming in that is very compatible if you may already be in it I'm not sure but this is a very compatible union okay I said what do we have for Sagittarius this card literally jumped out of the deck so this could be jumping into your life queen of what if you have doubts we have problems okay you may you may be doubting it you may be thinking negatively if you think this isn't going to ever happen we think about that one 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 your thoughts truly do become things if you truly believe that it is not going to happen then you can bet your ass it's not going to maybe you got to walk away from that negative thinking maybe it's time to open your heart maybe it's time to believe you know, if you have neg negative thinking, will <laughs> squash your dreams. Seven of coins reversed. Unrealistic, right? This is unrealistic. It's not unrealistic. If you think it's unrealistic, well, <laughs> I guess maybe it is, right? If that's what you think, if that's what you think. So if you don't put in effort, if you don't invest, if you don't believe, whatever, seven is a number of faith. <laughs> oh, seven, seven. Lack of faith. Lack of believing. I can't make this shit up. I can see it, too. I can see the negativity. Low confidence right here. You have a partnership around you or coming in that is very compatible. But you have to open your heart. You have to believe. You have to have faith. You need to let you need to let yourself shine. You need to think positive. You know, you need to set clear intentions. You need to make a clear decision. Something this something the seven of cups reverse. This is make a clear choice, a clear decision, and stick to it. You just you choose. This is a card of choosing. It's a cho it is. You choose what you bring into your life. It's up to you. Three of cups. This is socializing. This is happiness. This is letting your friends help you, help you, letting other people help you. Engaging. This could be a very compatible relationship, whatever this is. It really could. It could make you happy. You could, you could, uh, if you are single and you haven't met somebody, you could be out with your friends or you could be out you know having drinks or out at some sort of party or something out celebrating something and you meet somebody spontaneously but you don't feel safe or you don't feel like you're good enough let go of those thoughts four of coin four of coins this is holding on holding on to your stability holding on to your security you there's insecurities here there is some in there is some insecurities here okay um resisting change you may be resisting a new partnership 
because of your own insecurities. Maybe there's low self-esteem. There's low self-confidence here. Hangman reversed. Now this is changing your perspective underneath you. You need to change your perspective. Change your thoughts. Change your life. And that is the truth. And maybe that's what's happening. Maybe you're starting to have a change in perspective. Nine of Wands. Nine of protection mode. you got your boundaries set up, right? Anybody that crosses that line is going to get hurt. You may be defensive. You may feel like everybody is out to hurt you. Everybody is, you know, going to hurt you. You may feel that way. It is safe for you to love. Not everybody is out to hurt you. I feel like you guys are in protection mode. Yeah, you've been hurt, right? And when you've been hurt, you may feel like it's not safe. You may feel like you need to have that boundary. You need to have that barrier. You can't trust anybody, right? Why well, have faith when you have been, you've had to be a warrior your whole life. You've had to protect yourself. You, you've had to, you've been brought to your knees a couple times, right? You've been hurt. You have. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, well, things are unbalanced. Things are unharmonious. It's like a, you're unwilling to compromise. You know, you have to make some compromises. Everything happens for a reason. Maybe it's, it's time for you to evolve. It's time for you to allow. Stop resisting. It's like you're resisting change. I can't make that up and everybody knows it. This is about change. It's about power. It's about using your own magic to evolve. We got somebody here that is resisting it. And that is, it's clear. It is clear. Resisting change. So I feel like you guys are, are, are feeling, you know, you're not at peace. You may be getting frustrated. You may be moody because you're resisting. You're resisting the, the transition. You're resisting the transformation that the universe is trying to help you. It's trying to help you to evolve. It's trying to help give you a blessing. But if you resist it, it's just going to cause disharmony within yourself. It's going to cause, um, what's the word for it? It's going to make you feel uncomfortable. It's going to make you feel uneasy. It may make you feel sick. It's stealing your energy by resisting it. There's a lot of push and pull here. There's a lot of power struggles because you're resisting change. And I know people don't want to be told that, right? Who wants to be told? It's basically what's going on here is like criticism. You need to go out and have fun. You need to socialize. You need to open up. You need to put yourself out there. You need to loosen up. Okay, no offense. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. You need to loosen up. You need to, you know, let go of your past hurts. Don't let that pain consume you. Make a decision to, you know, take your power back. Make a decision to allow this change, whatever it is. Walk away from what doesn't serve you. Stop hanging on. Stop resisting. You have a partnership here that is waiting for you to see the compatibility. Or maybe maybe it hasn't come into your life yet. Maybe you're not allowing anything into your life because you don't feel like it's safe. You've had to protect yourself for so long. So anyway, Sagittarius, I feel like some of you, I'm going to change this up, are holding on to a partnership. This is holding on to a partnership that is stealing your energy. This is going a different direction now. It's time to let it go. Maybe at one time it was very compatible. And you have another one that is compatible. This is holding on to a partnership that at one time was compatible. But now it's stealing your energy and you have to let it go. This is for thousands of people. 
It's the really it's gonna change. Take what's yours and leave the rest. It's unrealistic. There's no satisfaction. You've come a long ways. It's brought you to your knees. It's brought you to the ground. You've been holding on to it and holding on to it and holding on to it. It's been hurting you. You have to make a clear decision to stop resisting. You need to make a clear decision to bring balance to your life. You need to make a clear decision to, to accept change, to accept whatever it is. There's a purpose why things don't work out. Maybe you have something um, that could make you a lot happier. Um, maybe you have a new relationship that is waiting for you to see it, but because you are in such a space of resistance, you can't see it. Um, there's another option. It's like you can't see it, though. That's what this is. You can't see it. It's like you're refusing to see it. You are determined to hold on to some partnership. Maybe because it pays you. Maybe it's because, you know, it gives you money. But it sure as hell doesn't make you happy. I can't make that up. Maybe it's time to take a break. Maybe it's time to walk away from this partnership. You know, maybe, yeah, it was compatible at one time. And I think that for a lot of you, you have a new relationship waiting for you to see it. But you can't see it because you're so determined to hold on to something that is unrealistic. It's not satisfying. Because it's stable. It's stable in some way. It pays you in some way. It may be, you know based on money could be a job could be a partnership it is based on money it is based on money it probably is a job or it's stable <laughs> okay it's, it's all about stability here I feel as though you guys are in a, a partnership where there's money involved but it is not it's not making you happy it's not You need to sever ties. It's caused a lot of power struggles. I feel like, you know, you're, you're feeling defeated. You're feeling defeated. I think that this is a, fives are about change. They're about conflict. There's a lot of negativity here. It's like it's a lose-lose situation because it's it's consuming your thoughts. It's, it's really causing you some inner turmoil. And you do need to take your power back. You do. Instead of suffering, you need to stand in your power. You do. You need to break free. You need to step out of this. You need to remove this obstacle from your life. There's no reason to pretend. It's like you're staying in a place that is very uncomfortable. It's not comfortable. It's almost like you're you're deceiving yourself. You're betraying you're betraying your own self by holding on to something that is really causing you a lot of mental turmoil. It is. It is. The only reason I think that you're holding on to it is because of the money, because of the assets, because of the financial gain, okay? But it's so, it causes, it brings, it's tension. It causes so much tension within you. Three of swords twice, Sagittarius. You are suffering. You are suffering in a partnership that is really hurting you. It's painful. It's painful. And I feel like you need the seven of cups reversed. You need to have faith in yourself. You need to believe in yourself. You need to you need to believe in a higher power. You need to believe that you deserve to be loved. You deserve something compatible. You deserve the partnership, the best partnership. You deserve happiness. You deserve to be happy. You know, I feel as though I mean You deserve peace, okay? You deserve peace of mind. You need deserve balance. You deserve happiness. I'm I'm sorry. This is what this is. You are really suffering. You are suffering. You're suffering in some sort of partnership that is unrealistic. And I feel like you're just resisting this change where when deep down, deep down you know that you have a better partnership available to you. You know that. I think that you do. Um, three, 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 three. 
We talked about this the other day. Your prayers have been heard. It's like they're trying to give you something more compatible. But your resistance to change, you have to take that step. You have to make the choice. They can they can try to answer your prayers until they are blue in the face, but if you don't take that step, hey, that's your free will. There's some sort of partnership that you need to sever ties with that is causing you a lot of internal pain. It is. It's causing you a lot of... Um, suffering heartache heartburn it's just really painful but it pays off it pays you in some way you need to honor your truth you need to honor yourself you need to believe in yourself you need to think positive you can be happy let your friends help you it's time for you to take a break it is it is. It's time for you to clear this air like I just read. Remove this situation from your life. Find the strength to honor your own heart. Please. Please. I mean, that's all I got. I mean, I can't go any further. For some of you, you know, you have a better solid opportunity waiting for you to see it. But your resistance to change is hindering your own success. So I feel like this is a week of feeling uneasy with a temperance reverse, considering that's your card. Frustrated, feeling frustrated, temperance reversed. You may be getting impatient. You may be right on the edge. Because you're going to have to face your, your fears, okay? And step outside of your comfort zone and remove this obstacle that is in the way. Of your own, of your own happiness, okay? You know what it is. And if you and if you are in denial about it, well then hey. It is what it is. That's not my problem. There's something that needs to, that you need to walk away from. You know what it is. My advice is this week, this week, you're gonna be very frustrated. I'm sorry. You're gonna be upset. You're gonna be you may even be angry. Because resisting change brings about resent. The longer you resist the change, the more resentful and angry and uneasy you're going to be. Face the stormy weather because you deserve happiness and you have an opportunity if you could only see it. Good luck.